Hello everyone, it's Rita here and it's afternoon um, on a Saturday and I have been um, playing all morning. Um, just uh, looking for digitals and, and um, things like that. I went through all my little, um, and everything is upside down again. I went through all my little um, ephemera pieces, my little fussy cut things to pull out some of the colors that I thought we could use. Uh, I have those and I have a few over here too. Plus I have um, a few that I bought from um, a journal, uh, Taylor made journals. <clears throat> She's having a sale and um, so I went over there and got a few things. And I think they might go with this um, journal as well. They're, they're flowers and stuff, fussy cuts. So I wanted to quickly finish this, and thanks to Diane, who left me a post, uh, a comment about how to tie this, or how to close it. So um, I found this a little card here, and I'm pretty sure that's Tim Holtz, and I thought that would be fine in there. Oh, you know what, I still need a card for this. And then I have this little notebook that I think you guys remember we made. Of course, another notebook. But I don't think you can have too many notebooks. So, okay, these don't work on this uh, table very well. Let me get some ink. Probably doesn't really need it, but I'll just ink around. This was just a piece that I was trying out and it just seemed to go there. So that's where I'm gonna put it right here because that still opens fine. And, um, yeah, there's just, um, I didn't get this done um, during the video yesterday. I don't know where time goes, it just, i got to mark these though. I think I'll mark these smaller because um, I was doing it earlier and I'm like, I already glued right there. Now what I do with my little piece of paper. Oh, I'm like, I already glued on that spot. And because I forgot to mark my book. Okay, so let's just kind of center it right there. I'm not going to put anything else on there. Because I, you know, tried to look at it and see what else I could put. And there really wasn't much. All right, so now I really need a little journal card there. And I didn't, um, hmm. I didn't look for something and I don't want to do that on a video. That's part of my my problem is looking for things. So I'm not going to put it in there now. I'll do it later. Okay, so now that closes up like that. And I was going to show you this. I mean, I would put this on here if it wasn't. This is kind of expensive, but I bought this on Amazon. I think I put it in my... Um, Amazon um, favorites um, and then of course you know if you guys go there you get a little I get a little commission uh, I haven't got anything yet but <laughs> I know it I think they you have to get to a certain point before they actually give you the credit um, but anyway it's called Raw Sienna this one it's called Vintage Wedding Decoration uh, Decorations and it's Ling's Moment and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's a chiffon, I think they called it. And well, see now that side is not, and they put these little paper clips on there. Look at that. Where do they get those cute things? So yeah, it's only on one side that it's real shiny. I thought maybe it was stretchy, but doesn't that look pretty with that? But I, I don't wanna waste it on this. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, it would just be gorgeous, but yeah. I So I thought I might be able to use this somewhere in the journal too, but I bought this for fall. I'm already thinking about pumpkins and spice and stuff like that. But yeah, and then it came in this really cool cardboard uh, box thing or envelope, which will be great. I don't know. And maybe it might be too big for a journal cover, but anyway, I just wanted to share it with you so you guys could take a look at it if you're interested. And I'm 
just going to tie this here. And that should be all I need right now for this. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to put it inside of a pocket. So when we get to that part of the journal, I will get a pocket made to fit that. Oh, I hate it when it gets twisted. Oh, well. Oh, I don't like that. First of all, I want to keep this shut while I'm trying to tie it. So I was trying to think, how can I put a paper clip on it? You know, a decorated paper clip. But then when I saw Diane's post, I'm like, oh, that's all I have to do. Don't worry about it. So there, there's a piece of ephemera for us. And that way I won't glue it on and it'll be cute. Okay. So then, let me move this out of the way. Um, I didn't know what else to make today. So, because I was going to do a ultra paper clip and I don't know, I just... I, my, you know, I just couldn't do it. So I found some Tim Holtz, I think it's Tim Holtz paper. And I think I'm just going to make a pocket here. And I'm going to try to make a window behind this, um, like a specimen type window. But I want to cut this in half. Okay, so this is six, so I need to cut it three. It always seems like it's too small when I do this. All right. And then I think, um, oh, looking for a page so I know how big I can get. Because so I feel like this is too big. It is too big. That's why I feel that way. So I want to cut the pocket down. I'm just going to do it on this side. So I'm going to cut it down so the pocket's not, uh, you know, too big. Okay. So that'll be the pocket. And then um, I thought I would use the same paper and make the, a card to go in here. Um, of course, I'm going to have to figure out, it's kind of, maybe I'll just make it a much shorter one. That way I'll know, even if I glue, that I'll be okay. So let's just, so I thought this would just make a journal card on the other, you know, the same, the same stuff. So, I guess about right, right there. a cute little piece of scrap. Maybe I can use that for a um, paper clip. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let me see if just let me put a paper clip on it so I know. I bought these black ones. They're they're really big, but um, I like them because they're not silver and you don't have to cover every side of it. Okay. Now, so this, I'm thinking, will slide down inside here, and I'll probably put a tab. But whatever I put here, I, I think I have to put this here to show through the window here, okay? So, I don't, I was going to sew around it. I have black thread in there. If I had a different color thread, I think I would sew around it. All right, so I'm going to put a little punch in it halfway. This is five, two and a half. Just so we know it's a pocket. Okay, 
So now I have one of these on the other side um, as well. And if I was making um, a journal card, a specimen or something, then it would be different. So, um, let me cut this in half. If I leave this here, it's going to come under there. All right, I'm going to cut this. I know it's three quarters. Um, okay, so if, if I want to put the picture on this side, and I have to mark it here. So what I was going to do is just cut this away. I can get more of these. These are from uh, Artie Mays, her specimen cards. Okay. I'm going to put it about right there. And let me... That looks... Now well, let's see. I'm going to go up a little bit. Only because this will be glued down. So that one I need to leave it bigger, otherwise it'll fall through the window. All right, so now I'm going to try my exacto. Where did you go? And see if I can't cut this. It's already dull. I can't believe how I can't keep these things sharp. a little harder. I see people do this all the time. Let's see where to stop. probably be able to get it back in the right groove. I use my rotary cutter with these um, things all day long when I was quilting, so I don't know why grabbing onto the edge of the plastic. All right, one more. inside of there. It's white. You can see that. Let's 
Okay. All right, so now we have a little hole. So if I slide this down in here, and the, I gotta put the window stuff in, but. So I'm thinking that when you pull this card out, I'll put a tab up here that it'll fall right back into that um, uh, window. Okay. Okay. So let me get some of the acetate stuff. stick on it this goes stuck because I I know that it well last time it actually stuck very well and then it won't scoot out into the window like art glitter probably got too much glue I'll have to wait for it to dry <gasps> on there. I shouldn't have done that, huh? Let's see. Well, that's not wet. So you get half, you know, <laughs> you get glue on it or you get it on the window. It don't matter. It does it both ways, right? Okay. So, oh, that's the one we don't need. This is the one I want to put here. a little bit too too big hmm. okay but I think what I'll do is I'm just going to rip around it a little bit off so we didn't want that blue anyway. It doesn't even have to be a like a specimen card. It could simply be a picture on the back that shows through. The other day when I was working with picture frames, now I'm all into picture frames. What can I make? What can I do? Okay. Just 
just wonder if it doesn't set in there right. Is it going to look funny? I think like we can't move it necessarily down anymore. and see if I can hold it in place for a minute. I'm just looking to see if I line this up. And as long as I glue it below that, all right, so that needs to come down. Yeah, that's pretty good there. I don't know, does that look funny there? But I, I feel like if, when I put a tab at the top, um, that it won't look, I don't know, kind of weird. I have. actually thought I could cut these, I mean, not cut them, but fold this in half and, uh, yeah, I kind of like that. I'll show you what I mean. All right, let me get this glued. So I'm just going to art glitter glue it. I would love it if you guys would post some of your work on um, my Facebook page so I can see what kind of things you're doing. All right, so okay, so that's gonna sit down there like that. And if it's not perfect, it's gonna be okay too. Okay, so I'm thinking to put a tab on that, but I'm wondering, hopefully this is not going to be too big. Um, kind of looks big. Let me fold it in half. So these are like those little spools that some of the designers use on their um, things, and I never know what to do with them. So I was just looking at them, and I thought, why can't I make tabs out of them? Um... Does that look okay, or should I? I think I'm going to make my own uh, whale tails out of one of the uh, design uh, papers. Um, this one's got... That's probably a better size. I didn't pull out a bunch of them. I should have probably got more. But I think I will use this on a bigger card, bigger journal card. All right, I'm going to put some ink on this because I think it's not dark enough. Okay, where's that ink? Yeah, because there are, I don't know, 900 people on my on my um, Facebook page. And I don't even know who they are, most of them. 
I except Kathy my she's um, you know she's the only one and and she posts things on there so if you guys watch uh, my if you see my comments you'll see Kathy who is nonstop mom and see what she's doing because she has been printing on wallpaper um let's see what else did she do the other oh, last time I looked I know there was the wallpaper what did she print on um, so I wonder if I want that part. Yeah, I think I want the writing because it kind of mimics the going around here. Um, oh, what was it she did? Oh, can't, can't remember, but doing wallpaper was amazing. Um, because the wallpaper was like a light background wallpaper and it was textured. So when she did the uh, printing on it it just gave it like it was on a special paper or on linen or something but yeah there's you know people there that have some great ideas but like I said I don't know who they are all right let me see now all right so what can we put over here? Hmm. Now, this might, I think, would be way too big. That wouldn't look bad, but it is um, kind of big. So, let's see. Do I have another? Nope. Watch all the stuff I took out. It doesn't match anything. This is a sticker, so I think it won't show up on that black. Um, let's see. I love this one. So I'm probably going to put that into kind of a window. And this one, I want... I don't know if you guys remember, but I made a folder or a pocket or something that had this triangle. And for the life of me, oh, I know who made it. Hold on, I gotta write it down. It was, <sighs> what's her name? Um, oh my goodness. Oh, I hate that. I just had it on the tip of my tongue. Oh. Just had it. I don't want butterflies and birds, and I don't want two different kinds of butterflies. And that's kind of tiny. What was her name? Just, uh, I don't know. Oh, this bug might look good. Or maybe these flowers. That one looks kind of nice. Is she all paid? I wonder, oh, I, what I did too is I have collaged my scraps as I go. So when we get done, um, I mean, when I get this full, I can use it for journal cards or tags. Well, I'm not going to sit there and collage the whole thing on camera. But I thought, well, if I have a scrap left, that would be uh, perfect. But I... I kind of wished I had a scrap out here, me too. Hold on. Oh, too long.
some ink on it. Yellow looked pretty good too, but I don't know. I think this is from uh, 49, what's it called? 49 Market or something. I just bought something there one time and that's about it. Okay. All right, let's glue it down. I never know where I want it. I feel like I always do it the same exact place, but I don't know, maybe there's a reason for that because it looks good there. All right. And then I think I'll put a number in this corner. I don't know if I want this number. I wanted, um, I just went in and got a few smaller numbers. So far, we don't have any yellow and gray. Well, we have yellow. But I thought I would just use um, botanical sort of style with butterflies and maybe dragonflies and whatever I can find. In fact, Artie Mace has a dragonfly uh, one too just like this, but I think it's mostly blue. All right, so that is what I planned. And I hope, yeah, it's gonna slide in okay, I think. It's hitting something right there though, what? How could it be hitting it? There's nothing there. it's this up here I'm feeling yeah all right so I'm happy with that Another little scrap here what time is it okay let's see can we these, I think these paper clips are too long I usually fold it in half like that. But I could poke it through and make it like for a charm. Let's try that. And if it doesn't work, it's okay. Let me fold it in half first so I know. it because it's all white and I was looking through cardstock not cardstock I mean scrapbook paper I have only four books of scrapbook and probably two of them I don't even pretend to like and um, yeah I, I'm just like how do you people find those good scrapbook things and like um, um, okay, I think I can probably use this. The Tim Holtz, I realize. 
you know, they're very popular. happy about that. Um, I guess I can just use a shorter paper clip. I wonder if one of these would work because they would be cute. I mean, you can't see it anyway, but at least it's not silver. So this is how I do it, if, if you haven't seen me do it. Um, I just take a piece of cardstock, or just any old piece of paper, actually, and put the paper clip over it, and then I slit a hole so this goes up inside, which gives us um, a um, little place to dangle, you know, a little charm. That's really, really white. So then, once you get that in there, you're going to glue, I think I'm gonna round the corners a little because it's easier to get. Oh, here it is. It's a little easier to get it slid down on the, on the uh, page. Okay, so. Just take that. You can make it the same size if you want, but it works pretty good this way, I think. Okay, get that nice and glued down on that side. this side and you don't want it glued down past where this little paper is because otherwise you glue it shut and you don't want it to glue shut so a lot of times I will just stick something make sure that you know it's not glued yeah it should be fine Okay, so then that opens up right here. And it slips over the top of the journal card, journal um, page, however you want to do it. And then you can slip something inside there. And you can slip something on this side too. All right, so, and you can't get it off. <laughs> it's a kind of a tight, paper clip. All right, so let me put a little something there. That would make it nice. We're not going to use it with this probably, but somewhere else. Um, that's too big. I'm gonna find, oh, I can't, I was gonna think of her name again. Um, you guys are probably thinking, maybe you won't, maybe you weren't thinking of it. Because I didn't give very much information on her channel, but I don't know it. When I go down my subscriber list, people that I subscribe to, I will recognize her. That's what I had to do um, this morning is go through um, all my journal names or my the people that I buy journals from so I could find picture frames again yeah, or yeah frames that's cute doesn't have to be uh, anything that great and then we could put one on the other side Another butterfly. Mm. 
these daffodils I love the yellow and then it's got a kind of a gray background but I'm not crazy about daffodils in this all right well that seems to be all I have is there anything else that you can I mean other than postage stamps um, and flowers I mean That would probably be good because th that is upside down, the wording, but that's okay. Yeah, I kind of like the butterflies, I think. So I was, uh, the uh, journal pages I got were from um, Cotton and Twigs, I think it was. And so, oh, that's not that one, where is it? So I was looking through my butterflies and, um, I mean, at her, all the things that I have with her name. Well, it, maybe it was this butterfly. But anyway, I found these butterflies that was her from them that I got long, long... Oh, here it is. Long time ago. That's a peach one, but I think this is the same one. It's um, yellow and gray. Anyway, not to bore you with stuff. That's perfect. I love these little guys. I don't use them as much as I should. I don't know why I don't think of them. All right, I'm gonna put this together with this. I might, did I put anything? No, I didn't put anything here. Hmm. Now that doesn't look straight. I probably didn't rip this straight. Oh, darn. Hmm. Well, maybe I won't put anything there unless I find something that I like. Because, like I said, I don't want to do two butterflies. And I don't want to mix a bird and a butterfly. At least, I don't think I do. Hmm. It seems like all my birds are kind of big, too. Oh, that bird does look good, though. Oh, is this crooked, you guys? I can't tell. Mm, let me line this up on the edge. Nope, that's straight. So, that looks like it's a little short on that side, so, but it is straight. It just looks really crooked. I wonder how that would look. And that, um, that's um, a sticker, so it will show through. So it might look kind of cool because it won't jump out at you. Let's see, I'm not sure how to get this. These are my, back when I did um, that shiny paper. I think I did this before, but I did it this way. I can't get these. Uh, let me see. What do I have that's 
disappointed. Yeah, I love my washi paper so much better than this. But it, it has its own little look, too. I kind of enjoyed. Oh, that is not going to show. All right. Uh, that is not going to show at all. So, let's see. I don't think it'll... Well, it does kind of fit on there. What I was saying earlier, I, some of these um, see-through stickers, I'll probably have to put them on something. Yeah, I don't think it's going to show. So let me just stick it on something. Do I have any good book page or anything? Yeah, music paper. And I'll just stick it on here and I'm gonna see if I can rip around it to I wonder how if any of you watched the whole video yesterday or today well yesterday for you um, of my granddaughter's rose I, I gotta tell you talk about a proud grandma I mean sh that girl yeah that doesn't look good there but it will look cute somewhere else was amazing oh she was amazing she she basically in my opinion had the lead role role because the other one um, the, the girl that's, um, the part of Frozen, you know, the main character, <clears throat> well, she just wasn't on stage that much, and my granddaughter was on stage, you know, of course, they can't do the whole movie or the whole storyline anyway, but yeah, she, oh, she did so cute, she was Looks so grown up, and oh, she was just a little girl. Now she's a young lady. All right, guys, that's it. So I'll try to take a picture of these and share it. <laughs> it takes me forever to make something, but um, if I find something I think that would look good there, I'll I'll put it on. But right now, I have this. I know I said I was leaving. Let me try this. Oh, I lost a nail again. I bought a new set of nails and they just don't want to stay on. Don't know why it's the same company. They just pop up. I've only had them on today, a few hours. I don't know if that, that doesn't really do anything for it. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me and spending your day or time or whatever. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.